Uh, so when it comes to maybe more um, systemic change, I think um, in my position as a chief defender, I have more latitude and more ways to do it. But, but I think one way is as we mobilize defenders, uh, number one is to be vocal. Um, use your platform, start highlighting the change you want to have, whether it be through social media, whether it be through op-eds or the press. Um, anything that will be helpful to bring your cause to the light um, is what you need to do. If it's not going to be helpful, then shut the hell up. You get legislation passed without any <laughs> attention on it, be quiet, okay? Um, I think next, uh, collect stories. Um, quick sound bites to highlight your cause. Uh, whether it be like for I said about um, the felony exclusion rule, like over 30% of black men in California cannot serve as jurors. That was a soundbite that caught people's attention. Uh, whether you have examples from cases that a black um, woman attorney in our office who had been trying cases for, I want to say, eight years, had done over 20 trials and could count the number of black jurors on one hand. That, that's a soundbite. Um, had another case where a lawyer um, recently, three out of 112 jurors, in Alameda County, in Oakland, we're black. Three, um, three out of 10, I mean, that, that's just a sound bite. And the black client didn't have a single black juror on his case. Now that, that's a sound bite that got people's attention. Um, and you gotta have strong partnerships, um, community groups, uh, whether it's your state public defender organization, um, ACLU, whatever, to really push legislation. And also critical to that is finding the right legislator. Uh, finding someone who actually cares, someone who's not just going to carry the bill, this is good for me, um, someone who cares about your cause and will fight on the floor to get it across the fence line. Uh, really, really important. 